Hi guys, in the previous lecture we have covered single phase full wave semi controlled asymmetrical configuration that is the lecture number 13b and symmetrical configuration has been covered in lecture number 13a. Now in this lecture we will start full converter plus free wheeling diode that is also known as semi control. In all, both the lecture that is lecture number 13a and 13b we found conduction angle of thyristor and conduction angle of diode and after that we found the IT average, IT RMS, similarly ID average and ID RMS. So we have seen that in symmetrical configuration the conduction angle of thyristor and conduction angle of diode are equal while in asymmetrical configuration the conduction angle of diode and conduction angle of thyristor are not equal. Okay. Now in this lecture we will start full single phase full wave semi control with full converter and free wheeling diode. So let us proceed to the first slide. See this is the single phase full wave breeze converter with free wheeling diode. Here the free wheeling diode having let us say the voltage across this is VD. This is the free wheeling diode inserted in single phase full breeze converter. So we have studied about the single phase full breeze converter without free wheeling diode in lecture number 12. Okay and we have found the harmonic series also. But here I am attaching one free wheeling diode like this then it will behave like a semi converter so i can say that single phase full wave converter plus free wheeling diode is nothing but semi converter okay now see the operation this is thyristor t1 this is thyristor t3 this is thyristor t2 and this is thyristor t4 see what is happening from alpha to pi i am triggering t1 and t2 at omega t is equal to alpha c at omega t is equal to alpha i am triggering t1 as well as t2 okay then what will happen this t1 and t2 will start conducting and in this case if you will draw the equivalent circuit then output voltage you will get that is equal to let us say this is point a and this is point b so output voltage you will get that is equal to vab that is equal to vm sin omega t draw the equivalent circuit short circuiting the t1 and t2 you will get output voltage that is equal to vab that is equal to vm sin omega t that has been discussed earlier how to find the output voltage okay now what will happen after pi see from pi to pi plus alpha source voltage is negative okay and i am not triggering this t3 and t4 t3 and t4 are triggered after pi plus alpha this is the triggering angle of t3 and t4 that is equal to at pi plus alpha i am triggering so from pi to pi plus alpha i am not triggering this t3 and t4 so what will happen this vd will starts conducting how let us see if you will apply kvl here you will get plus vd plus v0 is equal to 0 so vd is equal to minus of v0 now you can see that after pi supply voltage is negative okay so i can say that if this free wheeling diode if there is no any free wheeling diode present then output voltage i will get somehow like this that we have seen in single phase full wave breeze converter from pi to pi plus alpha output voltage i will get negative but because of this free wheeling diode see if output voltage will be negative then this free wheeling diode the voltage drop across this free wheeling diode will come out to be positive so the moment the voltage across this free wheeling diode will come out to be positive this will starts conducting and at that time output voltage you will get that is equal to zero are you getting me see if there was no free wheeling diode present then output voltage i will get up to pi plus alpha for continuous current i know i am assuming that constant this i have explained you in lecture number 12 that is single phase full wave bridge rectifier but because of this free wheeling action after pi if output voltage will be negative then this diode will start conducting because negative negative will give the positive voltage drop across diode and it will be sorted so output voltage i will get that is equal to zero so from pi to pi plus alpha i will not get output voltage output voltage will be zero because of this free wheeling action so we can say that diode free wheels from pi to pi plus alpha after pi plus alpha means at omega t is equal to pi plus alpha what is happening i am triggering t3 and t4 see here i am triggering t3 and t4 at pi plus alpha so when the moment when i trigger the t4 t3 and t4 at pi plus alpha then I will get the output voltage draw the equivalent circuit then output voltage will be V0 is equal to VBA that is equal to minus Vm sin omega t. So from pi plus alpha to 2 pi again output voltage you will get that is equal to VBA like this. 
same operation that we did earlier that's why i'm not making the equivalent circuit you should understand this that out from pi plus alpha to 2 pi t3 t4 are triggered and output voltage if you will apply kvl then you will get v0 is equal to vv vba that is equal to minus vm sin of t and now what will happen after 2 pi that is from 2 pi to 2 pi plus alpha see from 2 pi to 2 pi plus alpha i am not triggering t1 and t2 T1 and T2 is again triggered at 2 pi plus alpha before 2 pi plus alpha T1 T2 are not triggered okay so from 2 pi to 2 pi plus alpha again free willing diode will start conducting and in this case output voltage I will get that is equal to zero so whenever this free willing diode starts conducting at that time the load is sorted so in this case V0 will be zero so you can see that source current will remain same like I said in all the configuration the source current will remain same as well as waveform of output voltage will remain same so no need to explain this only there is difference in thyristor current see from alpha to pi T1 T2 is conducting so if I will have to find the thyristor current across T1 so T1 is conducting from alpha to pi after pi this free willing diode will come into the picture so it won't conduct again from pi plus alpha to 2 pi T3 T4 will start conducting so if I will have to draw the current waveform of, of thyristor t1 then it will conduct from alpha to pi only okay now if i will ask you what is the conduction angle of this free willing diode in one time period see here the free willing diode is conducting from pi to pi plus alpha and again it is conducting from 2 pi to 2 pi plus alpha so in one time period this free willing diode is conducting for 2 alpha okay so what is the conduction angle of diode the conduction angle of diode will be 2 alpha and conduction angle of thyristor will be come out to be pi minus alpha in this case also the conduction angle of diode and conduction angle of thyristor are not equal okay now see if i'll have to find the it average then it average i will get that is equal to i naught into conduction angle that is pi minus alpha upon time period that is 2 pi okay similarly it rms i will get that is equal to i naught under root conduction angle pi minus alpha upon 2 pi how i am finding this go to lecture number 8 that is the rectifier classification and see the last 10 minutes you will understand how to find the average and rms value of any rectangular pulse now i can also find id average c diode is conducting for 2 alpha that is equal to i naught into conduction angle 2 alpha upon total time period is 2 pi similarly id rms i will get that is equal to i naught under root 2 alpha upon 2 pi so these four points you have to keep in mind okay so let us summarize like this i will find it average then i will find it rms then i will find id average and id rms in all type of semi converter that is symmetrical asymmetrical and full wave bridge rectifier with free willing diode okay so note down this this is the IT average, IT RMS, ID average and ID RMS for symmetrical, asymmetrical and full wave rejectifier with free willing diode. This I have already explained you. Okay. Now as I said earlier that the in all the semi converter the output voltage, the waveform output voltage and source current source waveform both are same. So we will find the average output voltage of semi converter. So V0 average I can easily find. See the waveform. I am getting V0 average from alpha to pi and time period is pi only so 1 upon pi alpha to pi it is following vm sin omega t okay so after finding i will get vm upon pi into 1 plus cos alpha so average output voltage will come out to be vm upon pi into 1 plus cos alpha now see the rms value of source current so find for finding the rms value what i told you that is square the waveform so if i you will square the waveform then you will get from alpha to pi i naught square this is source current chi square okay and again from pi plus alpha this is from pi plus alpha to 2 pi again you will get i naught square maximum value is i naught square a square this waveform you will get the waveform like this now find the average of this waveform so average of this waveform you will get that is equal to see the time period has changed it is conducting for pi minus alpha and this will be maximum value will be i naught square into conduction angle pi minus alpha upon time period that is pi see the time period has changed so i naught square into pi minus alpha upon pi 
Now take under root of this. So IS RMS will come out to be take under root of this that will give you the IS RMS that is equal to I naught under root of pi minus alpha upon pi. Okay. And this source RMS current is same in all the configuration that is in symmetrical, asymmetrical and full wave bridge rectifier with free willing diode. Okay. Now find the Fourier series of IS. See this is the waveform of IS and we haven't found the Fourier series of this kind of waveform. So you have to find the Fourier series of this waveform by general approach that is equal to IS of T that is equal to A naught plus summation of N is equal to 1 to infinite N cos N omega naught T plus BN sin N omega naught T. You have to find the Fourier series by finding the A naught A and B N because I have not found the Fourier series of this source current in the previous lecture. Okay. However, the derivation is not required. So I am writing directly that is IS of T is equal to summation of N is equal to 1, 3, 5 means only odd harmonics will present and it will go up to infinite 4 I naught upon N pi cos N alpha by 2 into sin N omega T minus N alpha by 2. This is the Fourier series expression of the source current. Okay, you have to remember this because in exam you don't have time to derive this Fourier series expression. So Fourier series will come out to be IST is equal to summation of n is equal to 1, 3, 5 to infinite 4 i naught upon n pi cos n alpha by 2 into sin n omega t minus n alpha by 2. So once I know the Fourier series then I can find easily everything that is if I will have to find the IS1 t then put n is equal to 1 I will get 4 i naught upon pi cos alpha by 2 sin omega t minus n alpha by 2 is1 will come out to be this much okay and we know that source voltage is nothing but vm sin omega t this is the fundamental source voltage vs1 i can write vs1 is equal to vs is equal to vm sin omega t because no harmonic is present in source voltage so what will be the fundamental displacement factor the fundamental displacement factor is cosine of angle between vs1 and is1 so angle between vs1 and is1 is nothing but alpha by 2 so fundamental displacement factor will come out to be cos alpha by 2 okay now find the distortion factor distortion factor is, a, is equal to fundamental rms source current and total source rms current so is1 i can find by this okay this is the maximum value of is1 so source rms current will be ia maximum by root 2 that is equal to 4 i naught upon pi into cos alpha by root 2 upon is is we have already derived that is equal to i naught into under root of pi minus alpha upon pi let me write above distortion factor is equal to source fundamental source rms current upon total so fundamental source rms current will come out to be 4 i naught upon pi into cos alpha this is the maximum by root 2 and total source rms current we have already derived that is equal to i naught under root of pi minus alpha upon pi now after solving this g will come out to be 2 root 2 upon under root pi into pi minus alpha into cos alpha by 2 okay hence thd will be under root of 1 upon g square minus 1 so thd is the function of alpha for different alpha the thd will come out to be different okay now input power factor will be g into fundamental displacement factor g is 2 root 2 upon under root of pi into pi minus alpha into cos alpha by 2 and fundamental displacement factor is also equal to cos alpha by 2 so it will be cos square alpha by 2 so we can replace 2 cos square alpha by 2 in 1 plus cos alpha so it will be under root 2 into pi into pi minus alpha now 2 cos square alpha by 2 can be written like this that is equal to 1 plus cos alpha so this will be the input power factor okay you can write under root of 2 by pi into pi, pi minus alpha into 1 plus cos alpha okay in this way we can find any kind of parameter in semi-converter so let us compare the fully controlled converter and semi-controlled converter in terms of output voltage, fundamental source current, total source current, distortion factor, fundamental displacement factor, input power factor and THD. So this is the comparison between 
fully control converter and semi control converter you have to know the output voltage fundamental source rms current the total source rms current distortion factor fundamental displacement factor input power factor and thd this is all formula i have derived in the last three lecture okay so in this way i completed semi control converter that is symmetrical asymmetrical and full converter with free wheeling diode that is the lecture number 13c this is 13b and this is 13a okay now in the next lecture that is the lecture number 14 i will start single phase full wave controlled rectifier with re type of load i have not discussed the controlled bridge rectifier for re type of load i have discussed only for rl and rle type of load in which the load current is assumed to be constant so in lecture number 14 i will start single phase full wave control rectifier for re type of load okay so if you guys understood the concept then please like this video and subscribe to this channel for doubt solving you can join our facebook group